Welcome to February's Legal Challenge. Today's problem is the k weakest rows in a matrix. Given an m times n matrix of ones and zeros representing soldiers and civilians, return the indexes of the k weakest rows in the matrix ordered from weakest to the strongest. Now row is weaker um, if the number of soldiers in row i is less than row j or if they have the same number of soldiers but i is less than j. So basically we want to sort this by number of ones and if they're the same then the um, <clears throat> earlier row comes first. So there's nothing to it really. All we would do is go through our grid count up the ones for each one of these rows uh, and store that somewhere else as, long, as well as the row number or the index number. Then we can just sort that and then we turn the k elements in, the k elements in there. So how can we do that? Let's start by creating a temp list and what I'm going to do is say 4 m in matrix and I need to actually keep track of the index number as well, right? So I'll enumerate and bring in the index number. So this tuple that I'm going to be creating inside of here, it's going to look something like number of soldiers or ones and row number, right? And after that, we can just literally sort it by the number of soldiers first because we want the weakest to the strongest. And if they're the same, that's going to go by row number. So we don't actually need to change anything there. Now to get that, let's, well, to make it simple, I'll say candidate equals, it's going to be sum of everything in this list as well as the index number and then we'll append this candidate to the temp. Now we want to sort this and notice how we don't need to enter anything here because it's just going to naturally sort by the number of soldiers first and then the row number. And then we want to return the k, k number of rows. Uh, but keep in mind we want to return just a output of the row numbers, not, not the number of soldiers. Uh, so just to take care of that, I'll say for i in and get the first element. Nope, second element, so that should be one. And just do it in a list comprehension like this. So let's make sure this works. Okay, looks like I messed something up. Let's try that again. All right, so it looks like it's working, 203. Let's go and submit it. And that's it. So nothing to it. I mean, there's variations of this. You can use a heap, um, but really time complexity is going to end up being the same because we have to store both the number of soldiers and the row number somewhere. Uh, so, so that's it. All right, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.